Καλησπέρα και πάλι. Hello. A conversation and uh, his narrations. Bez, hello hey, again. <laughs> well, let's continue watching this stuff from this period. What was going on back then? The train, uh, the train line was uh, virgin, probably. And you had some experiences there. Can you travel us back there and tell us who were your friends painting? The beginning, uh, the first time I heard about graffiti and uh, graffiti and uh, um, an illegal graffiti uh, on subways, it was from a guy called Censor. This was an Australian guy, okay. and I think he went a few times to Athens. And he tagged a little bit on subway cars. So this was one of the first things I heard. Then I think I saw a piece of a guy from Paris called Colors, C-O-L. Can you tell us, sorry, can you tell us the exact years uh, of uh, these facts? Mm, I think Sensor has to be, uh, it has to be one year before I came to Greece. Okay. And he didn't make panels, but he, 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 he tagged, I think, the outside or the insides or something. He, he didn't dare to make a piece. Um, Colors was a bomber from Paris, and he made a panel piece in, uh, on the subway. Uh, so this was the f first things uh, that were, uh, by my knowledge, seen on the subway. And of course, when you make walls, and everybody is uh, cr going crazy, you know, because it exploded. Everybody wanted to tag, wanted to bomb. I said, you know, let's go to the yard. Let's do it. So and this, this was one of those crazy nights, you know. So uh, this is from Mante. I can't remember. I really can't remember. I, ca I can't remember, really. I think there were there has there have to be more people on the train too because we didn't go with two people. I think we back then it was like crazy. You no, know? I went with five people to the yard. Like a graffiti jam. Yeah, again. you know, I, the only thing I was a little bit afraid of because the guy was saying, "Yeah, Bess, let's go, everything nice." And when we were in front of the the gate, he said, "Yeah, there's just one little thing." He says, "The Greek uh, owners of the subways." They sometimes have guns. I say, you're fucking crazy. They're going to shoot us. <laughs> no, they're not going to shoot us. But they love the subways. You know, they're, they're, it's their baby. So I said, when they shoot, when yeah, they, shoot, they yeah. will shoot, I'll, I will go away. You know, this is, this is too big for me. So I was a little bit afraid of shooting. And, uh, but we did it, you know. And uh, th this is the, the early train. I've, I've got another train too for you here. I think this is what's the first one I, I, I did. Whoa. Nice, yeah. nice. O one O again. Again, yeah. Perfect. In the beginning, you had the mentality of uh, bombing on the trains, but afterwards, I see that uh, you, along with Ante, you were doing something like masterpieces, almost panel masterpieces. I, I, even I, I want to if do, you had only one color. I want to do to do everything: throw up stacks, uh, trains, walls, everything. Perfect. Totally perfect. This is one of uh, your styles, the styles that you did back then and the Greeks were really inspired and really like it uh, until now. It's like, actually all of your pieces are, are so fresh and right now we see them and it's like you have done them uh, two days ago. Uh, can you explain us about this specific uh, uh, style writing this specific style uh, not the day that it's about this period of uh, doing such pieces and inspiring the greek community yeah well my journey as i told you graffiti is a journey my journey went on too so it didn't stop when i m met the greeks and uh, i was like ah i'm on the, on the top of uh, the throne and i don't want to learn so I told you about the, the, the basic uh, skeleton of New York, but I saw uh, at the same uh, time, I saw something uh, growing in, in Germany. 
that I liked, in, especially, especially in Berlin. In Berlin, uh, the yeah. New Yorkers came to Berlin and the guys in Berlin, they mixed the New York stuff with the Berlin uh, idea. And so they made it a little bit more crazier, more daring. So instead of, you know, one arrow, they, they, they did six arrows where they tried small and bigger things. And they, they were a little bit more out of the box. You know, New, New York always had, you know, a little bit of um, a standard. But in Berlin, they already they took the standard from t Kids and from Scene and from Shame and from FBA and from Dundee because Dundee is a really big style of God. Um, um, they, they mixed this together, the Berlin guys. And um, so this is the style that, that is New Yorkish, but still it's Berlinish too. And I really, and I nice. really like this style. I, 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 my focus went from this to this. I only looked at Berlin style, you know. There was no, I didn't like the Dortmund style. I didn't like the Paris style. I didn't like the Belgium style. I only liked the, the, the Berlin style because it was something fresh, something new. It was something, you know, daring. Style, style yeah. came, style yeah. came and, and, and the Berliners were the beginners of the European style. Uh, DFP crew, uh, can you tell us a little bit about the story of DFP crew? Uh, if you were there from the beginning, um, and uh, what happened with uh, this specific uh, crew, and how you interacted with with other guys through through the years, and uh, being um, style brothers with the other guys. Yeah, well. I, I, I was already in crews, you know, in Holland. I told you, I was painting for a lot of years already. So the, yeah, there were yeah. crews, uh, legendary crews that I already was in. But I didn't have a crew with um, with my Greek uh, pals. So I think it was Kertz or Ante who wanted to make a crew. And in the beginning, I didn't want to, to put another crew to next to my piece because it would look like you know, like, ah, I'm the king and I'm in a thousand uh, crews. Um, you know, the best crew is your friends, you know. You can be in a crew from yeah. from from Turkey or, I don't know, from America. I don't know, something bullshit. And, you know, you never seen these guys. So, uh, yeah. in the, like, the, the first period, maybe the first months, I didn't think a lot about it. But then, Ante or Kurt say, man, you have to come in. Man, you have to come in. Please, please, please. You're the granddaddy of graffiti of Athens. You know, and um, so I, I got in and I, I immediately, I, I, I love the idea because it, it was for me the, the, the root of the graffiti and the Greek uh, heritage. Nice. Can you also mention the other crews uh, you represented in the Ooh. past? Uh, uh, <laughs> I, uh, I think uh, a legendary crew um, in the beginning was in Rotterdam was Bad Boys. I was in a crew called CC, Crime Crusaders. Um, some other small crews. Not to, I didn't like to have so much crew. So back then, uh, like in, I think in 95 or something, maybe before this a little bit, I started my own crew, ETN, equal to none. Um, and I was searching for not uh, the the typical graffiti writer, but I wanted to 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 have the graffiti writers that had a little bit of different mentality, you know, that had a little bit of flair, you know, so, some some same uh, ideas of making graffiti a little bit different than we saw. So this was equal to none, and I got uh, into we had the DFP, ET, ETN, and some other small things, but. The most important thing is your friends, you know, it's what do you have in a crew if you don't have the backs of your friends? True, true. Let's go to 98. Yeah. To Fisio Graffiti Jam, to, graffiti, to this the, graffiti the festival. Big jam. This, this is your piece, right? This was, this was the blow up, you know, like it was totally big, big. For Greece, this was, this was, this was really big shit, you know, because it was a lot of people. Big sponsor, uh, um, uh, I think it was uh, 
the I, I can't uh, the, the 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 drink you know uh, Red Bull I think Red Bull was one of the sponsors, so it was really big and they got me a ticket, uh, airplane tickets, and together was uh, seen. Uh, Sess from New York. Um, the other guy, what was his name? Dame yeah, and Lumet. Lumet. Dame. Ah, yeah, Lumet at Dame. Now I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the first time I saw them was at the wall, and uh, they they wanted to spe speak to me because I was uh, not a Greek. You know, they, they they came, but they only came because they got their tickets. You know, they didn't have any feeling with the Greeks. So I told them, let's make the wall and not make a plan and just, you know, try to find a space and, and, and interact with the Greek people. They say, no, no, no. Lumet say, no, no, no. 100% no. He said, there's going to be a big line. And in this line, we will be. And at the other line, the Greeks will be. Then, then, no. then, I, then I had to, 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 to make my, my, my mind and my mind, my heart was with the Greeks, of course. And it was, and this, yeah. was, this, this was a little snippet where I was telling you behind, before that I didn't do it for the money. Because if I stayed with them, I could have slept in a big hotel. I could have get jobs on islands. They did. And I got big fame because it was Mr. Big Scene and Mr. Big, you know, everybody, Lumit. I didn't give a fuck about them, you know. I don't give a, 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 a whole shit uh, of fame. I gave something about my brothers. So this was, this was the first sign. If people know me, you know, this was, I didn't, uh, wasn't, wasn't interested in, in, in being uh, the, the big guy that was uh, on the TV or getting money. No, no, no. I said, okay, let's stop it. It was really stupid. You know, I, I can remember Lumet made a big line and this was the line. I was disgusted by it. Whoa. And I said, you know, you know what I'm going to do? I'm not going to sleep at the fucking, fucking hotel. I'm going to sleep at Woozy's place. So this is a long way, you know, to stay with money in a hotel or to go at Woozy's place. But I liked Woozy, you know. I liked the Greek people. So what, what I, I came there for the Greek people. So this was really, I had a bad taste in my mouth of these guys. Really weird because uh, probably no one realized that this happened. Maybe because everybody was really young back then and everybody was uh, enthusiastic know, about uh, uh, what just painting this uh, uh, complete FX production. I know, everybody was so happy. Everybody had the dicks up, you know. It was really, they were horny. They <laughs> were horny as hell, you know. Everybody was like, oh, scene, yeah. make this. And oh, scene, make like that scene. But I saw scene walking. Scene was a human being. With two feet and two hands yeah. and with hair, you know, and he painted maybe 10 years longer than me. Okay. But, and he was really good, but you know, it was a guy, you know? So I was, I was thinking, you know, everybody, there were people, they, they made tags on, 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 they say, can you make tags on my ass? You can make, can you make tags on my, on my pants? Can you make tags on my face? I was just laughing. One time I, I told him, you know, how stupid can you be to, 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 to put all those tags on? You know, I said something, just make a tag on my asshole, you know, and because of a joke. And he was a little bit angry because I was the only guy that said this. But I said, I'm a it's, it's just a joke, you know. But I didn't ask him for, for, an, for an autograph because she was okay, you know, and, 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 and Sass was okay too. But the Germans, they, they thought... You know, they they were the the king of, of Greece came back. You know, like something like this. Lumet and Dime, yeah. they they were yeah. up above the the the, the clouds. Uh, I like. And I know that uh, you don't appreciate so much 3D effects because you think that uh, most of the times uh, 3D is because you don't have. Uh, uh, skills in order to design your unique uh, no. style with no, no, no. Uh, the, the with clear no, outlines. There, there are two skills. You have skills of coloring, of characters, and you got skills in style. And most of the time, the skills in style is, is born with, you know. Not everybody can be a stylist. You, you got to have a feeling for this. And it's, you can learn, you can tell, but from the, let's say, 10 people, not every 10 of them can be a stylist. Because you have to have a, a, a mindset, you have to have a feeling for this to get into style. 
So I don't think it's it's bad or wrong, but I'm a stylist. I like letters. And I think maybe it's bad to say, because you make characters too, and maybe there are people that are looking too. I think graffiti is letters. This is a starting point. Everything around it, That's everything true. around it is makeup. I, I also agree, even if I am into characters for uh, more than uh, one and a half decade. But I, I, I totally agree with this. It's nice, you know, a character is extra nice. A girl it looks extra nice when she has nice eye, sh eye shade. A girl looks look yeah. nicer when she has a nice bikini, you know. But, you know, the raw graffiti is just lines, man. It's just lines. The natural beauty. I don't know. I don't know. It's yeah. It n not yeah. Maybe you can say this. Yeah, natural. It it started like this too. You know, it didn't start it with a million uh, 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 cans. Oh, let's take uh, let's take uh, twelve blue cans. No, it didn't start like that. Graffiti is just take a can and make a letter. If you can do this, this is this is the thing. You know, and then try to get better, better. But there, of course, there are so many. Uh, styles and so many uh, views on graffiti. You know, it's it's just like uh, you know, it's 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 just like the normal arts. You know, you got so many people that uh, that are into art, but there are so many sorts of arts: cubism. You know, like old style. Uh, you know, like new 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 pieces, and old pieces. You know, there are so many uh, different uh, opinions about it. Perfect. Uh, can you tell me some specific things about this? Who, how did you decide to do this specific background below uh, behind everybody? Again, just uh, it's just like jazz. I take my guitar. I take okay. my guitar, and the other take the other one puts a drum, and we go ba ba and this is the way we did the wall. Just like jazz, not like uh, jamming, jamming. Yeah, jamming. You know, it's like freestyle. The, the, at the at, at the other yeah. at the other point of the of the line, there was the concept because Lumit he had a plan from A to Z. You know, he knew what he was going to make from from A okay. to Z. Okay, and this is uh, from Bizarre. This specific one, I think character. so. Yeah, a nice one, I think. Yeah, perfect. Yes, nice, nice. Here is uh, a photo with uh, these two guys. Yeah. Uh, this is bef before the graffiti jam, after the graffiti jam. What um, happened here? The thing is, they, they were in Greece for a few days. So um, there was, after the jam, we, we all went the other day to paint. They came, the Greek okay. came, and we went to Hall of Fames. We made pieces everywhere. This specific photo was at the end, because at the end we had to go to an office to get our money back for the plane tickets. Okay. And uh, the woman said uh, uh, to me, uh, let's make a photo because you are the, the foreign guys that, uh, that uh, you know, are on the jam. So they made this picture. And I like it, too, because you can see that I was there, you know. But, 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 yes, it's but, historical. But it's, but it's historical. I, I did this not with, uh, with the intention to be popular or to be less than the other guys. Yes, taking photos and creating memories, it's so I important. I only one photo of him. Uh, I, I, could, I could have made videotapes, I could have made tags, I could have made t-shirts with him, could have made a, a million, I could have made a piece with him too. But I didn't do it. I always went to the Greek group. Now, when we went to the wall, I immediately had a feeling that they wanted to paint only with themselves, you know. The, the only Greek yeah. guy that, that, that really, really uh, get into the, you know, he said, please make, can I make it? Please can I make it? It was Jason. He made a character down, uh, down scenes piece. But the other Greeks, they were all next to me and we were all together. And the foreign guys were together too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, nice stories. Let's go to the carpet DM uh, era. This is uh, a funny picture from yours. Uh, from the Carpe Diem magazine that uh, you had given an interview, probably to Woody. Maybe, yeah. But, uh, you know, I look hungry. <laughs> yes. Okay, you have humor, obviously. I like it so much. Um, 
this, these are photos from uh, the period, the next decade, uh, that you started uh, painting with a lot uh, of uh, new graffiti artists. Here is a best from you, and here are some uh, heroes' uh, pieces from Braze and uh, Spark. Yeah, true. Uh, how did you feel about the evolution of the Greek graffiti scene that you were part of? And how was it to paint with uh, guys that were really younger, younger than you? Probably heroes were 20 years old and you were 40 well, years old, you I know, don't like, know. I, I didn't look at the ages of, of, of the people that I painted with, you know, in the beginning, like Katz and Ante, maybe they were like, I don't know, like 12 or something. And I was, tw I was 28. So I, I just look at the at, at the character behind it, you know, like is he is he, d d does he really like graffiti? Does he want to learn graffiti? So I didn't look at at ages, and this was it's true. It's 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 sometimes after the the beginning, and this was the period that I think this was the period of a style that I called absurdism. Uh, yeah. I called it this because I wanted to stretch the the letters in crazy ways you know just like uh, like a chewing gum and um you see i i wanted to go up down and stretch everything uh this was inspired by a guy from berlin he, uh, he wrote escher and dijo uh, and yeah. I, I saw some lumet pieces that went from small to big and i couldn't remember a lot of stylists went into to the the to make the wall look more like uh, dynamic you know like from small to big and start from the bottom and go up again but Lumet did this you know he made a very small L and go down you know with a movement you know so I I incorporated this this movement and I tried to incorporate the style and this was uh, uh, the result. And uh, at the same time, um, in Greece, I think Dijo and Escher went to Thessaloniki, and and yeah. Rec uh, saw saw it, uh, and War saw it, and they were uh, uh, almost earlier than me uh, adopting this style. You know, so sometimes i came back to greece and i was almost stunned by the quality and by the power that uh, that pieces had you know and and forms so in the beginning it was all best 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 at at at, at in the meeting mid and the end part of, of my visits there was respect to other people too i saw people from hero from 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 raiden from bizarre from from a lot of good guys there were a lot of good guys that back then and of course you know the 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 circle went bigger and bigger of, uh, because there were a lot of more graffiti writers. But the inner circle, Kertz, Ante, um, uh, uh, you know, the, the, the begin group uh, stayed together a little bit in the beginning. And we always, you know, um, talked about each other. And I always, you know, tell them, uh, buy this and look at this, look at this. And so the, the, the inner circle always stayed together. I had a, I had a, I had a right. lot of uh, 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 love going back and for, uh, forth uh, uh, of the early graffiti writers going a lot of love for Woozy, a lot of love for Katz and Ante, uh, Tare, you know, th those guys in the beginning, they gave me the respect and they still uh, uh, gave me, uh, give me respect, you know, and uh, I, it's not about respect, but it's about mu mutual respect. We, we know each other, you know, uh, and we all. This is so beautiful. Yeah, at, you know, it's at some people, you know, it 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 goes a little bit away, you know, the the feeling, you know, the the warmth of the of the of the friendship, but uh, with some of them, I, I think when we see each other, it's directly uh, the love is back again. Perfect, perfect. Uh, well, can you tell us about you know, the story in in Eindhoven? This is in Holland, right? Yeah, I think Bizarre uh, came to my place. Uh, he went to Amsterdam. I told him to sleep at my place. And he made crazy shit I never saw. It was like Greek icons <laughs> made into b-boys. And, you know, it was really... But I liked it, you know. I, li I, I, I was never into... I'm a New York old school writer and I have to stay at one level. No. I was immediately in love with the with the craziness of it, you know, with lines and dots and little, you know, little small details in it. So it it, it was a 
you know, like almost like a, like an artist, but he did graffiti. So it, it was really good to see. And, and I tried to mix it together. Really cool guy. He was into ninjutsu, I remember. Yeah. I gave him some, some, some ninja yeah. shoes. I remember Tabi shoes. Shoes with, you shoes, shoes with two, 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 two toes. And you are also into martial yeah, arts. I was, in the beginning, I always liked martial arts. Taekwondo, kickboxing, uh, Muay Thai, uh, you know, like a lot of things. Capoeira. I always like that, you know, because of the, of the breaking part, you know, breaking is like a little bit like this too. Physical. And also physical. breaking, it is also, also breaking is inspired by uh, such uh, martial arts because the young people were into the cinemas watching uh, Japanese moving yeah. movies again. And again. Yeah, break, break dance is a mix of, 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 of so much crazy things. It's the slaves from, from Africa going to New York, uh, to, to America. It's the it's the, um, the 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 most stupid things you can do. There. It, there's it's a mix of salsa. It's you know the break dancing is a big mixing of of cultures and dancing going together. So and and it has and, and it has true. some martial arts in it too. So that's why I knew ninjutsu. Uh, I I liked uh, the the whole scene. So we had our connection with with him too with ninjutsu. Yeah, long war with Raiden. I I think with heroes. I can't remember this. With war, I think. Uh, with, with war, with yeah. war, with uh, Braze, with Spark, and uh, with Raiden yeah. also, with a small yeah, piece. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Bizarre. Who? who uh, how did you have this specific uh, idea of uh, this background of uh, using these specific colors? How how did you collaborate in order to bring these results? I think. Uh, just like uh, uh, how can I say you know yeah there, there was no plan first of all I think there was no plan maybe we said well let's do black in the bottom and and, and white in, in on top maybe this was the plan but there was no big plan but the 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 thing was like in the beginning everybody looked at me and I was the only guy that could make what I wanted to do you know but after the time evolved a lot of people came and w were uh, on a good level so the, the competition was there. So Raiden did did his best next to me. He wanted to beat me and I wanted to beat this. And, you know, so it was more like a competition thing. So how this came, mm. we all tried to do the most crazy thing that came in our heads. You know, if we saw flowers, I would make flower uh, forms. You know, I... You all, you, you nice. Have, Where is that wall? Where is that wall? No idea, man. No idea. No idea. No. Okay. Okay, Impact. perfect. This is also one great uh, wall. Sorry for the quality. I just uh, scanned an old magazine. Yeah. And this is this is yours. This is war. And what's going on here? This is from Mimpe and from uh, same or from why this I think it, character? Do you I remember? I can't remember exactly, but I think it was Impe. Uh, but I think it's a badass wall because it has the new movement. You see, from the bottom of the of the of the ground going up and yeah. it has, you know, small and big, you know, so it, 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 it was not the typical New York graffiti anymore. Okay. Nice. Really nice. Uh, did you have any poses for many years uh, until coming back uh, again in Greece? Because uh, in the meantime, I don't, I don't know how often did you come here? Uh, did you come uh, very often? Ooh, how many times I went to Greece, I can't remember. But this I can remember. This was a jam uh, with a lot of people. Um, it was organized by Spike 69. Yeah, Spike, yeah. The full color. The yeah, jam. Spike, a good guy too, you know. He, he gave me the, 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 the tickets. And I was sleeping at his house. Cool guy, you know. Uh, always into bombing and to make pieces too. And we went to the wall and again, you know, make pieces with the, with the Greek guys. Back then I, 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 I saw a, a, a young kid that was Greek and Dutch too, like me. And this was poison. But I, I think I, I spoke, spoke to him like a few words, but it was funny for me because to see a Greek guy 
that was Dutch too, and who made graffiti. But we didn't have a good connection in the beginning. He was a really young guy too. Yeah, he's a great guy, and he's really active. Yeah, 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 yeah. But back back then, I remember, uh, and I yeah, on that same same day, I, I saw Artemis again too. Art. It's always good to go to Greece, you know, and 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 look all the to to see all all the guys, you know, the, all the older guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Greece is uh, totally great. The sun, you know. Uh, right now, you're still uh, sketching a lot. How often do you sketch? How how much uh, sketching and graffiti is in your life right now uh, that you are uh, yeah, in this age? Well, I'm I'm not sketching every day. But I can say I can sketch every week. So this is a lot, you know, because if you sketch already from 85 until now, almost every week, it's a lot of drawings. So, yeah, it's, it's like um, you need to draw because then you can mix, you know, the visual and, and the, 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 the things that you have in your head, you know, you can mix them together. And it's good to have the feeling with with your finger and 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 the, and, the, and, the, and and paper too, you know. Yeah, yeah. Practice is really yeah. important. And, uh, right now, you're painting in uh, Walls of Fame in uh, Rotterdam. I see in your Instagram page uh, a place like this, which is uh, quite quite interesting. So, some panels uh, in a park or something like this. What's going on? Uh, the government has created some specific walls of fame. Yeah, well, the, 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 the thing was always like, I was more an, a legal, uh, 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 not an ego, illegal guy, but a li legal guy. So I needed walls early on from the early 80s. So I always tried to get um, schools or get companies to to give up the walls and that I could make pieces on so the more walls I had the better it is you know and in the beginning people liked graffiti too because it wasn't about uh, uh, a lot of trains or a lot of uh, bombing you know so it was all a little bit smaller in the early times so I could get walls uh, but after you know the the the, the criminality of graffiti the illegal thing got bigger to get walls what was getting difficult and more difficult so these walls were made uh, because i went to the suburbs and asked to the polit political guy that was doing um, youth work uh, why not make uh, walls in parks and uh, every spray can that was sprayed on this wall would be a spray can less in the city and this was a good uh, recipe for him yeah, it it, it, nice. it blowed his mind, you know, said, yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. So he made some walls. So today uh, in Rotterdam, we have like uh, in a big city like Rotterdam, uh, you have really two big, really city, two big cities in, in Holland. It's Amsterdam and Rotterdam. In Rotterdam, you have maybe like uh, seven places to paint, which is really not enough. But there are too many Whoa. people that hate graffiti, you know, and... Um, uh, think graffiti is uh, like uh, sickness, you know. They like street art, street art. You will get money too, but graffiti it's it's a bit harder. So it's because of the damage that done in all those years before. So if you have walls in Rotterdam, you have to be happy. That's why I always went crazy in Athens because there were walls everywhere. What do, what do you think about Greece right now? Everybody's talking about. Uh, uh, all the walls that are co covered with bombs, throw-ups, uh, tags, whatever, and it's like New York yeah. during yeah, seven years. Yeah, you're true. Well, the, yeah, I must honestly say I'm a little bit ashamed. The first thing I was ashamed was when I met a little guy, I don't remember when, but he told me, yeah, Bess, at last I see Bess. I was almost dying, Bess, he said, because I was caught on the third rail. On the subway, I didn't told them there was a third rail and there was danger on the subways. I made the panel pieces, but I didn't tell them about the danger. And he told me I was almost burned, you know, to death. 
So I thought, whoa, man, it's not only I bring this scene here, but I endanger people too. And this was not my purpose, you know. It was to spread love and to spread, to spread art, not to spread danger. And to, uh, but yeah. you didn't do it on purpose. You didn't no, do it on purpose. No, of course not. So, so I was shocked. So, and, and the question, you tell me, what do you think when you see Athens now? I think I'm a little bit ashamed, you know. It looks like, like, like a whore that, that has been done a million times. It looks, it looks a little bit like the ghetto, you know, and, and Athens is not a ghetto. The people have to have, uh, have, to have uh, the feeling back again that Greece is, a, is such a nice country with such a nice colors and people and, the, and, and old buildings, you know, and now everything is bombed. And I like bombing, I like graffiti, but, you know, when it's too much, it looks like a ghetto, you know, and, and this is not, if I'm be honest, sometimes I was ashamed, you know, my brother told me, Nico, when you come back to Greece, you will see what will happen, you know, and I saw this neighborhood, Pakrati, let's say Pakrati, one neighborhood, and it was totally bombed, man, destroyed everywhere, tags everywhere. I thought, whoa, man, I started this wheel, but this wheel went out of motion, you know, it went everywhere. Kids are, are feeling the anger or something like that. There's fire inside these people. And there's no money. But you, but you should consider that the half of the destruction in the center of Athens is made by guys from abroad, not only from Greeks, because yeah. guys from abroad know it's easy to paint, so they come and uh, they paint, uh, they, they damage yeah, really, but, but really But this is the story of the pissing of the dogs. If one dog pisses, the other dog pisses. If you have, you know, it's, it's you know, like, it demotivates graffiti when you clean everything. Everybody knows this from New York. They cleaned the subways, the white, the white elephant. Everything was white. After this, graffiti would die, you know. Remember, there were graffiti on the white trains, yeah. but after a while, it was, it was gone. And when you see a, a panel, now it's nice because there's one or two or three panels or, or 20, you know, it's good. But when everything is fucking destroyed and everything stinks like piss and everything is full with tags, the flavor is gone, you know. Back in the early days, there weren't so many tags, but everybody knew one piece that there was. There was one guy from, from I think, from America, Twister. He made one tag. And when I went to Greece, I told them, I saw a Twister tag. And Ante said, yeah, I saw it, you know. It was only, yeah, it, this was incredible, you know, like, and now everything, every street is bombed and it looks, I think it's terrible because the, the tourists will come to, to Athens and they see a destroyed city and it's, it's, it's a shame. Graffiti is, graffiti uh, is cool, but to make it too, like, if you, if you put graffiti everywhere, it, it doesn't look nice anymore. It's like dog of, of a piss, you know, a dog piss, as pisses everywhere. It's too much. You need a little, a little space where they can piss a little bit, you know. And of course, a little bit of piss somewhere is nice, you know. If there is one train going, one big illegal wall, or 10, you know, tags there, it's okay. But if it's a million and nobody cleans it, yeah, terror. Interesting opinion. Uh, do you watch what's going on with graffiti in, in Greece? Do you know anything about the, the graffiti scene right now? Good question. The question would be, what is the future of graffiti after you've not been there, you know? And the future of graffiti is that I think Athens has an arty kind of look for graffiti. I think the, the Greek scene is, uh, you have a lot of standard New York graffiti writers. But I think the all over picture, if I would say, what do I think about the Greek scene or about the Athens scene? I think there's a lot of quality, good quality, better than in Holland. And there's a lot of um, artistical uh, movements going on. So th there really, uh, nice. I think that there has to be a root with the arts and, and, and the people, you know, it's like history coming together. It's, you don't see so many artish kind of things in Holland. Uh, if, you could, if you could have five canvases from uh, graffiti writers or graffiti artists or street artists or whatever from Greece, uh, what would they be? From, from Greece? Uh, 
with yeah. guys. Ooh, I, I thought you were going to say from the world. It would be easier for Greece. Oh, man. If <laughs> I would have five canvases. With styles, with tags, with whatever. Five, uh, uh, from five uh, creative guys. But, or but disruptive the, but the, guys. This doesn't mean that they are the best. It's just five that, yes. because when I talk about Greece, there are so many, I, I forget a lot of names, you know, there are, that is, is, yes, is Resk, uh, 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 Rec, I mean, you have Dusk, you have, you have Dimmer, Bizarre, Art, Spike, you have China, there's so many good writers, so many good writers, but I think if I, would, if I would like to have a, a, a canvas, I think I would like to have a canvas from China, because I think his skills of of the classic New York is really crisp, you know. Re he went into tattooing and just like it was eating a sandwich, you know, in two or three weeks he made <laughs> better tattoos than I see in, in Holland, you know. And I don't like tattoos even, but so th this is important. So I think <laughs> skill-wise, China is really good. Uh, I would like to have a canvas from Senor because he's, he's one of the most creative persons I ever met. Totally crazy. He knows the root, he knows the basics, and he mixed it all together. And now he's, you know, in his own realm, you know, it's like organic kind of, you know, it's, it's further than my head went, really. I, I went to this stage and he went two stages above this. I don't know if it's nicer there. I don't know if it's better, you know, because it's not like I'm saying, ah, if you have at this level, it's not good. But it's, you know, I, I didn't went into the art thing Still, again, you know, for me, graffiti is letters. So if I don't see the letter anymore, a clear letter, you know, it, it goes a little bit too, too away from me. And still, I am modern because there are people that still think I am too crazy with my letters. I talk with old schoolers from Athens and they, they say, Nico, you have to go back to this style and back to that. You know, but it, I can't do this because it's, it's like a journey, you know. You can't go back in when I was 15 or 16 years old, you know, it's like the mix of, the things are in my head, the old things, the new things, and it's all together. And I make the things of the, of the, of the future with everything inside. So, you know, it's, it's stupid to say, let's do only the, the, the Euro style from the early eighties, or let's do only the New York style. I think you can mix everything. And uh, it will go be good or not good. I don't know in the future. I don't care about the future or the past. It's now I'm, I'm living in. So to have five, it's going to be difficult. So you have Senor, you have got China. Uh, one of my favorite writers I really liked is Rec. Because I think Rec was almost like a twin. When I started to talk with him, he got into my wave of thinking. Uh, it took some months, but after a while, I thought I was seeing ghosts, you know, with him. It, yeah, <laughs> ghosts like, he, he made a piece, and I thought, I could make this piece. So it was like almost crazy. He was, he was really fast into seeing what was I liked and what he liked. So we had almost the same eye. I called him hawk eye because he had the eyes of a hawk, you know. But uh, yeah, he, he, he stopped painting a, lo a long time ago. I think he still draws. And I think he has uh, uh, a lot of different ideas nowadays than me, with, which I don't mind, you know, it's, it's, it's all good to me. It's all love, you know. But, you know, I don't stay at one point. I don't stay uh, at, at, at a certain age, you know, a, a certain uh, time period. I, I, I mix it all together. So Rack... Uh, China, Senor, now another two, maybe, maybe Bizarre, because he's such a freaky kind of guy. Have you checked what he's doing the last no, decade? No, I didn't check. I, yeah, I, must, I must honestly say, and I'm ashamed of it, I don't know uh, 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 ass shit of anybody. I don't know what Art is doing. I don't know what Wuzi is doing. I don't know what... And I don't think we're all on the same line too again, you know, that we all flew our own universes, you know. If I would talk to Woozy, you know, it would be nice on a, on a, on a friendly basis, but not on style-wise anymore because he's at another place. And if I would talk to Art, 
he would talk about another time, you know. And so this is difficult. The only guys that I have a little bit of link with is, of course, with the DFP, you know. We have, uh, through internet, we see each other what we do. I'm ashamed, I, I, and, and I'm ashamed so because I don't know uh, how good and, and how many talented graffiti writers there are. And I know there are a lot of good, good writers there. I can, say, I can say, honestly, you know, like, we have much more Dutch people in Holland, but the Greeks, they don't, you don't have so many Greek people in, in, in Greece living. How many million? It's, it's nothing. How many, how many million Greeks are there? In, in, Greece. in Greece, yeah. How many million? I think <laughs> the Dutch people are three or four times more, and it's such a small country. So it's crazy to say for me, Greece has better writers than Holland. So the the small people, the small the, the big country with with the small small writer is still really strong and artistic, really good scene, I think. Nice. Uh, one last yeah. question. Uh, Do your children uh, did uh, do your children did your children do graffiti or tried to write or uh, got inspired by you into this? Film? I told you, you know, like um, I was into comics, I was into dancing, I was into uh, music. It is, you know, something has you, you have everybody has his own personality, and it's stupid to say. Um, I am a rapper and my kid has to be a rapper too, you know. I never pushed young guys that were doing graffiti, doing my style. And I never pushed my kids to doing art. And at the same time, I liked it too, because they would, still, they, they would, they would take my cans. <laughs> so, you know, it's like, why, why shall I, you know. But my, my daughter likes to, to draw a little bit. But, you know, like graffiti, I don't care if they do graffiti. No, it's not like something I have to... It's not a, a profession, you know. They have to be happy. They have to be happy, you know, in, in life. And, and and this is the most important thing. And if they're happy with uh, doing, I don't know, art, it's good. And if they like books, it's good too. So I never push people. Perfect. Perfect. So we can close uh, with this meaning, uh, with this phrase that we should all be happy. That's all. That's the most important be thing. Be happy. Do yeah, you want to be happy and, you know, uh, be free in your th uh, thoughts, you know, don't, uh, you can, uh, you, you can uh, take opinions and you can look at the basic of graffiti, but who am I to say what graffiti is? I'm just a guy, just like seen with two legs and two ears. Nothing special. I'm just a father here. Not, not even a father. My kids are old, you know, I have, I have a son like he's 33 years or something, you know, so I'm, I don't have kids anymore. Oh. So... I'm just a normal <laughs> guy that likes letters. Perfect. Perfect. Do you want to share anything else uh, with the Greek uh, community? Ooh, my love to the Greek uh, community, you know, and uh, I'm proud that everything went uh, as it went. And I hope to see you all back again. You know, I, I really like to paint uh, again, but uh, it's, you know, maybe we'll see each other one time, you know, this, uh, this will be uh, nice. And I can understand that the old people would like to see me more than the younger people because they don't have an understanding of who I am and how strange it was to have not have graffiti in your city. I know this feeling because I saw sure. Athens without graffiti. Uh, probably it was uh, weird, all this. Now we can't, uh, we can't even imagine Athens without graffiti. Unbelievable, we can't at all. unbelievable. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, Best, thank you so, so much for sharing your stories. Uh, your narrations were really wonderful. Knowing our history and our roots is really important. So I hope to meet you in real uh, life. And I hope everything uh, with coronavirus will go better and better and everything uh, uh, will be forgotten from this yeah, period. Greece did, Greece did a great job, and right? Everybody, yes, everybody's yes. always talking about a lot of bullshit about Greece, about the immigrants, about the, 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 the Euro. But hey, hey, the Greeks did a good job. Everybody has to look a little bit to But, Greece too, because we have so many dead people. You know, it, It's like normal to see 100, 200, 400 people a day dying here. Athens had the wars, man. We had thousands of corona deaths. Whoa. Everybody, you know, there's a Whoa. lot of deaths. So 
Greece did a good job with the corona. And, you know, at one time, yeah. corona will stop, you know, and there will be a medicine and we'll meet up again. We can travel again. Perfect. 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 Until then, have a nice yeah, okay. time. Enjoy yourself. Okay, bye. Uh, thank you and big okay, respect. Yes, yes. Thanks so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. 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 Yes, yes.